Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well. And welcome to a Thrift With Me video. If you saw that little tank top that I just picked up, it was a Sweaty Betty tank top. This one's an Athleta one. I'm Obviously, I'm starting with some of the new pieces on the new rack. And there's a couple of cute little tank tops here. Athleta, Nike, Sweaty Betty, obviously. But a lot of tank tops just aren't usually worth reselling. So I leave quite a few of these behind. But welcome as I go thrifting today. I have my family with me, so it's hard for me to get some clips because I'm hanging out with them. So if you guys don't get a lot of clips, that is why. But these were a really cool L.L. Bean pair of slippers, but they had some really some messed up stuff on the top. And I didn't want to spend the time to clean them, but the comps are around $40. This killed me. There's a bleach stain on the front. I really wanted to pick this up. It's from Rails. It's a Rails jacket. The comps were great. But I found so much and that little bleach stain, it really, I just wasn't going to do it. It was going to be bad. I just decided to leave it. And then I've been watching the OC lately, so I just kind of zoomed in. I don't know why. It was fun though. <laughs> if you guys have watched it, let me know. And then I wanted to pick this up too. This Peter Millar little sweater with a hood on it is really cute. It's only $4.99. Great piece. I would normally pick this up. It's 100% merino wool, I'm pretty sure. That's what I'm reaching for. Yeah, merino wool. But again, there's a hole back here on the hood and it could be an easy fix. I need to stop picking up things that have things wrong with them. But I'll show you what I actually picked up when we get home. So we're back home and I found so many amazing pieces. I swear, the new racks, the new racks are seriously where it's at. I don't know how people don't find things when they go thrifting. I guess it also, I know it depends on where you live. It depends on what day you go, what donations are coming in. But y'all, I cannot. Some of these pieces are absolutely insane. So a lot of my pieces are going to be green tags because that was the color that was being put out that day. And so I bought 24 items for $135.45. So let's see what that breaks down to. Give me a second. So I paid $5.60 for each of these items that you're going to see here. But I ended up getting a lot of new tags items today, which is amazing and I had my mom with me as well so Jeremy GU my mom were all with me I hardly got any filming done so it was a tough time to do it all with them there at multiple points I'd have one of the three of them bringing me like a whole armful of things and saying hey do you want any of this so it was really helpful and they also helped me look through the new racks so like this piece Jeremy grabbed from the new rack very excited about it let's jump into the hall shall we this, an amazing new tags jardigan, a jacket cardigan. It's really nice and thick. It has this amazing detail down here at the arm. And y'all, this is an amazing brand. It is M.M. Lafleur, which I have found now only probably a handful of times, an amazing brand to resell. It's more of like a business casual, businessy type of outfits. And it sells amazing. So very excited about this. It's new with tags. I've never found M.M. LaFleur new with tags. Every time I've had this brand, it's sold for around $100 if I find a dress. This jacket, I looked up comps for it. I found the exact name of this. It was very confusing <laughs> to pronounce. But it was reselling used between $60 and $100. New with tags, I'm thinking this jacket itself will sell for around $100. And it was $60. $6.99 at the thrift. I feel ecstatic about that. So that already is almost paying for the haul. And I have 23 other items. So that's a win. And then this I also grabbed from the new rack. So as soon as we walked in, we attacked that thing. We were all over that new rack. Jeremy grabbed that piece and I grabbed this one, which is shockingly a second M.M. Fleur new it tags piece. Now, I might need some help with this. I feel like it's a skirt. Pretty sure it's a skirt with kind of, you know, some nice gathering. It feels like a skirt. I might have to just try this on to figure it out. And I should say too, the last M.M. Lafleur piece was a plus two in sizing. So I'm assuming that's like a 2X. That's my guess. So again, this is New It Tags from M.M. Lafleur. There is the brand. And then this is what the tag looks like up close. I haven't seen that writing before for a size, so I'm assuming this is plus size, which is actually probably better for resale. This was also $6.99. So exciting. And brand new with tags. I got 10% off of everything because at my Goodwills here in Indianapolis area, if you spend over, I think, $25, then you get 10% off. And I hardly ever spend under $25 at a thrift store, so... 
it does well for me. But yeah, super exciting. Two M.M. Lafleur pieces. I haven't looked up anything about the skirt. I'm assuming it's not going to have as high comps as a jacket will, but y'all tell me that's not exciting. Like that's exciting. <laughs> and then shockingly, shockingly, my mom, you know, is at the new rack with us and she is on the other side. So I'm on one side, Jeremy's in the middle. My mom's at the other end. My mom goes, yeah, do you, do you, do you want to have a piece that's called smart wool? And I literally, I promise you, I almost had a hard attack because I've never found smart wool other than socks in the bins. <laughs> so to find a actual piece of smart wool was really exciting for me. It is kind of like a crew neck, kind of a base layer piece from smart wool. And it was also $6.99. Also new with tags. Absolutely insane. Here's the tag. Isn't this so crazy? In a men's size medium. And this is the men's Versa Crew. So it's a smooth jersey knit face for performance. And then it has accent color panels and it's in a men's size medium. Shut up, right? $6.99. I looked up comps and a Versa Crew from Smartwell. New at tags. I'm expecting this to sell for at least around like 50 bucks. I think $50 would be pretty good for that. For $6.99, I'm happy with that. It is new at tags, um, but you know, you don't always... You don't always get that much, especially since it's a base layer. If that was a smart wool, like jacket or something, we'd be looking at a whole different category of money. Now, once I found out green was the tag of the day, I feel like I'm gonna be a broken record player. I have these great thrifting tips to share with you guys. And a lot of it boils down to um, having an awareness of the thrift store and how it works. I feel like that makes sense. Anything that was a new tag was green. So I'm gonna go through that whole store and look for green tags because those are the newest items that are gonna have had the least amount of eyes on them. So they'll have the best chance of having something amazing. And that's not always the case. I often find things that people miss, but this was a green tag just hanging on the rack and it is a little striped shirt. And it has this kind of interesting like knot detail on the side where the sleeve is curved. And this is just kind of a V-neck, lightweight, Shorter in the front, longer in the back, kind of like beach cover up. It's lightweight, but it is from L Space, which is an amazing brand. This has been on many a brand list of mine. L Space, they make a lot of really nice swimsuits, but also their dresses can do really well. If this was more of a like going out dress, it would do even better, but it's more of like a beach cover up. But I'm still expecting this to probably sell for around at least 50 bucks, which is pretty good. And this is a black tag, um, it was $7.99. And I got that for what, $7.20 after 10% off. So I think for around $50, finding L Space, I knew I was gonna pick it up regardless because I'm you know, excited about L Space in general, but that was awesome. And then this I think was probably also on a new rack. This is a cute little mini skirt. It's got this stretch at the waist. It's really nice, maybe it's a shirt. I wonder if it's a shirt, I don't know. It is a size medium though, so I feel like it's gotta be for the hips. But this is also new with tags. It's got its anthropology tag on it. I don't know why so many people are donating these new with tags items. I'm not here to question it, I'm here to show you it, but like, seriously. But this is what the tag looks like, and it's gonna take me a hot second here to pronounce this, but I believe that it's an Indian designer who designs these, it's Banuni by Jayati, and it's made in India, size medium, originally cost $98. This is a really sought after collab actually with Anthropology, and it has some gorgeous red sequin details on some of these flowers on the bottom hem. It's a really beautiful piece, and I think it was $7.99, so I got it for $7. That was more expensive than the M.M. Lafleur jacket, which is a little skewed in my opinion, but I do think I can sell that for at least $75. I saw everything listed from that brand that was new with tags at $100 and sometimes more. So in the end, I think I'll probably hopefully sell it for around 75. That'd be good. Then here, a jacket. I don't know if this one's on a new rack or if I just found it, but it is a really pretty lightweight jacket with this kind of beautiful detailing here on the sleeves. It's all Throughout it got this kind of interesting texture and this is from Eileen Fisher one of my go-to's a great brand super expensive but it is a really it's for me at least easy to find which I appreciate this was only 4 dollars 
you guys know Eileen Fisher, these pieces usually cost hundreds of dollars. And this is 100% silk. So 100% silk, little like shorter over jacket, a little cropped, shorter sleeve, really interesting piece. The 100% silk really got me on this. I was like, yep, okay, I'm going to definitely get that for five bucks. Shut up. I'm sure that was at least $300 probably new. Isn't that crazy? Like the vast amount of cost that some of these pieces incur is just mind boggling. Then this was not the color of the day. It just was on the rack, like a normal piece of clothing. But I looked up comps because the tag reminded me of the NBD tag, which is a Revolve brand. So I decided to look it up. It's this beautiful little blue and white romper, but it's by the brand TJD, which is obviously this is a nice tag. But when I looked it up, it stands for the Jet Set Diaries, which is a nice Revolve brand. So I was right in my instincts. It's a size extra small and it's a cute little romper. And I thought with us heading into the spring season and then summer, I thought it would do well. And the comps were pretty good. I believe it's supposed to be worn off the shoulder, kind of like this. And then the little romper, I think it's cute. And the comps were at least like 50 bucks. So I decided to pick it up. And then Jeremy found this cute little Hannah Anderson little top with a clip dot texture. You can see that um, we decided to grab this for us, for uh, future children, hopefully. It's $1.99. Hannah Anderson is so expensive, so picked that up for the future. And then I was excited about these pants. These also came out on a new rack. They were $4.99. Pants usually are, unless they're jeans and they're more. But these are a very interesting style of pants. They have a very like water resistant kind of texture to them. And they were intriguing enough that I looked them up and they're by the brand Swerve, S-W-R-V-E. And from what I can tell, I believe that these are like riding a bike kind of a pants, like bike riding pants. And so I looked them up and the, the comps were really good on these actually. So this is a brand maybe you should be on the lookout for. I think the comps for these were over 50 bucks. So for $4.99, I decided to definitely grab those. And these are in really good condition. They're a nice green color. And they are, let's see, they're the slim fit trousers with four waist stretch, ride, ride, ride. So yeah, for bike riding for sure. And they're a size 31 waist. So I thought those were exciting, grabbed those and definitely for bike riding. So interesting piece, but I found a lot of people bike around me and bike riding clothes can sell for good money. And then we have some cute athletic wear pieces, which some of these came out on different days. So I actually went to the same store a few days after this haul, and that's where I found this tank top right here. But let me show you all these pieces together because this piece Jeremy found for me, $4.99 for a pair of little kind of cropped leggings, fun pattern. So these are from Sweaty Betty. And Sweaty Betty, I wouldn't pay a ton of money for, but I do think I can get some good money for these. They're the Sweaty Betty Power leggings in a 7 8 length, and they're in a size 8. But they're this cute little pink color with all this de detailing in them, and they were $4.99. And then on the new rack, I grabbed this, in this gorgeous like berry color, because I thought I recognized this logo on the back. Couldn't remember what the logo was, but I definitely remembered that it was something. And then when Jeremy showed me the Sweaty Betty leggings that he found, I was like, that's it, it's Sweaty Betty. So I found this Sweaty Betty actual like long sleeve. It's really pretty, but there's no tag on the inside. So I'm assuming though, if the leggings were donated on the same day, they're probably from the same person. So this is probably somewhere around a medium. And then when I found this <laughs> a couple days later, this was $3.99, same little Sweaty Betty logo, also no tag, but it's the same exact color as the long sleeve. So I picked her up too. I'm gonna have to do some research, but if these are both a medium or large, I still think those will do really well. And then I have this gorgeous sweater. Like if this was my size, this is my ideal piece of clothing. It is so soft, so thick and luxurious. And I went back and forth on this only because it needs sweater shaving but I started sweater shaving it to see how long it would take me and it's gonna be so easy, so I'm so glad I picked it up. It was $4.99, but this is a gorgeous little kind of button up collared sweater. And y'all, it's from Nordstrom, which I really never thought I would be picking up. I just made a video where I told you guys the brands that I'm not going to be thrifting this year, 
Nordstrom was on that list, but this one, this is an exception. And this is why I picked it up. It was 66% wool and 28% cashmere. So it's a cashmere and wool blend sweater. It just feels like 100% cashmere in my opinion. Like it is so freaking nice, so on trend and absolutely gorgeous. So for $4.99, a cashmere sweater, we love this. I love the style of this. It's an extra small, but I just think it's so cute and it's oversized. I love the color. Tell me that's not the most beautiful sweater you've ever seen. Um, now I know what I want my style to be more and more like. That sweater. So awesome piece to pick up. And then shut up because this piece following it up, also crazy. This is a really nice gray long cardigan. I buttoned it up to show you guys. It also needs a little bit of sweater shaving but I kind of anticipated that going in. This was $4.99. This came out on a new rack and I was like, oh my word, <laughs> because look at the tag here. This, my friends, is a Tory Burch sweater. Tory Burch, like what is this haul? <laughs> like, are you guys with me? Like, is this not crazy? This was $4.99 and this is also, I believe, wool. Let me double check though. Yeah, so this is 44% wool, 32 viscose, 17 polyamide, and 7% cashmere. So another wool and cashmere blend cardigan from Tory Burch for $4.99. You heard me right. I cannot. <laughs> Tell me that's not shocking. Like, am I blowing your guys' mind? All of this for $135. Yeah, wait for it. Look, I have a gown. Don't worry, I have a gown next. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Sometimes I shock my even myself when I find things. This might need a little bit of work. I didn't notice a little tear here before. Okay, but this is what the top looks like. It's jeweled at the belt. One shoulder moment, and then watch this. It comes into this gorgeous flowing, kind of draped overlay of this kind of animal print tool. It's interesting. It's a gorgeous dress. It's full length. But this is a full length Badgley Mishka dress. It's a gown. It cost me $7.99. Shut up, right? It's like $7.20 for this gown. I have another Bachelor Mishka dress in my Poshmark closet right now that I have listed at $369 because it's new with tags. This originally cost hundreds of dollars and I got it for seven. So even if I need to do a little bit of sewing, I still think it's a win. Like look at the jeweled belt. Isn't it fabulous? I got cashmere, I got gowns, I got wool, I got new attacks things. Like what is happening today? And then this was $4.99, but this is actually my size and it's a linen blend, a little top. So I'm gonna try it on for myself, but it's from Madewell. So I just thought this was kind of a cute little look. So I'll try that on. I'll let you know if it's cute or not on. And then we found a Madewell pair of jeans, which I don't know why, but Madewell jeans have been really resurging for me. And this is a better style from them. You can see it kind of flares out here at the bottom. It looks more recent to me. It's the mid-rise kickout jeans in a size 27. And they have not been making mid-rise pieces from Midwell for like very long. They definitely were only doing high-rise for a long time. So these are were $7.99. They weren't new tagged. They were just there. So grab those for seven bucks for a pair of Madewell jeans. And then again, this came out at the same time as those other two cashmere pieces. And indeed, I actually had another cashmere piece in my cart that I put back because of holes. This was $4.99. This is what it looks like. It's a gray little sweater with this creamy white that's on all of the edges. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous piece. Another brand that I don't often pick up, Vineyard Vines but it is also 100% cashmere. Size extra small, definitely worth picking up. Cashmere just sells for me no matter what, and 100% cashmere, even better. It's a cute little mock neck, so beautiful. Like, somebody is gonna be living in luxury, and they must be a size extra small to do it, so. Then we have another new tags piece. This is new tags from Madewell, it's a size large. I don't know if this is a men's or a women's size large. I bet I could find out though. It is new with tags, it was originally $98. This gorgeous little like button up khaki style kind of jacket, shacket. I just thought it was nice and it didn't have a tag so they gave this to me for $4.99 or maybe it was $5.99, something pretty reasonable. Um, it's made with 40% lyocell, so good fabric. I thought that was cute. Got her of course and then, again on the new rack my mom's like 
do you want smart wool? And then two seconds later, she's like, oh, what about marine layer? Is that good? And I was like, mom, of course it is. That's awesome, mom. She was doing the most. Thank you, ma. Um, but here it is, marine layer, new attacks, new attacks. Originally $138, the spring 2023 collection. So it was within this last year. It's the Willow Double Cloth Midi Dress in Marlin Extra Large. Love having all that information, right? It was $14.99. Don't know why they marked this new attack piece up and nothing else. But you know what? I felt like I got such a good deal on everything else. I decided I would grab this because even for the reason that it's my size, it would be very hard for me to keep a new tags item to be the one that takes off the tag, ruins the resale value, and that doesn't get very much for it. And like, what if I don't wear it a lot? Anyways, there's a lot of things that go into me not wearing new tags items, but that's a gorgeous dress. And if I would be guessing at a comp for a $138 new dress, looking at maybe $75, $15 into it with 10% off. There's a lot of math here, but I do think it was worth it. So that was cute. And then I found this little hat. And again, guys, people sleep on hats, but they're usually not very expensive at the thrift. And they actually do perform pretty well usually on the resale market. This is a really fuzzy green hat with pink accent stitching and a little A on it, which for me, my last name's Allison, so I loved it. And then from looking on the inside here, it is from the Urban Outfitters kind of group. So I'm assuming this is from Anthropology. And it makes sense. It looks like an anthropology hat. It is a children's size. And I just think it's the most adorable thing. Like, tell me a kid is not going to look so cute in this. It was a dollar. So I was happy to pick that up. I think it should resell for around 20 bucks. And then we have a little free people top that GU found me. I love the style of this. It's perfect for the upcoming spring and summer. It's in an extra small from free people which is kind of small, but Free People does run oversized and it was $4.99. I just thought that was such a cute little top. I think for that, maybe $25 to $35 would be pretty reasonable. And then I also grabbed myself this pair of jeans that I'm gonna try on. None of my Goodwills have dressing rooms, which is so unfortunate, but I did find a pair of Abercrombie & Fitch jeans and I don't really know my size right now. Like it's been a hot minute since I've been trying on jeans, but these were marked at $10 and they're new tags from Abercrombie and Fitch originally for $100. So I thought, you know, might as well give them a go. And then if they don't fit me, I will just resell them. They're the 90s relaxed jean high rise. So I thought I'd give those a shot. We'll see how they turn out, but they are pretty cute. And then the last thing before I show you, I have a few extra little goodies here. They're mostly shoes that I picked up from another Goodwill, but I thought I'd just throw them in here because there's just a few of them, but they're all really good. So the last piece from this day is this pair of pants, which I don't think I got on the new rack, but these are a red tag size six and they're from the brand Dovetail Workwear. So again, new to me, but like the quality on these looked really good. After I found those swerve pants, I was like, I'm gonna look at these pants too. They look really unique. So apparently these are a really nice brand of workwear pants. Dovetail sells really well. And since they were marked at, oh, these were marked at $7.99, but I believe the comps were somewhere between 50 and $75. So for that amount, I was happy. These are women's size six. So, I thought it was really cool and I liked all the stitching on them. I thought they were really interesting. Decided to pick them up and give them a go. Tell you about the brand. We'll see what happens with it. But then let me show you some of these other shoes that I picked up the other day. The first pair is a pair of Hoka's, which is very, very exciting. They are a blue pair of Hoka. And these are the women's Clifton threes in a size nine and a half wide, I believe. They're missing insoles, but again, I don't think that's a huge problem. But these were only marked at $5.99, which I think is a steal of a deal. So $5.99 for a pair of Hoka's, which usually costs well over $100. I literally am wearing a pair of Hoka's right now. Can you see them? Is this worth, is it worth it? I don't know. I love Hoka's and those are actually pretty close to my size, but I don't think I'd wear blue. Anyways, long story long, $5.99, no inserts, but I would say these can resell for around 50 bucks. And then I recently put this on my shoes list and also I think my men's brands list. And I was super excited. This is my first time finding this brand. And these are Oboes. They're more like a little hiking shoe, 
these ones are in really good condition and the bottoms look really awesome like really nice not really worn that much and these are in a US size 12 and they were only $6.99 and again in this day when I went thrifting I believe I got 20% off of everything which is awesome so I grabbed those bad boys as well as these which are a pair of fry little booties kind of maybe more like a slip on sneaker but they're in real leather a brown leather gorgeous condition and then this is what the bottom looks like these i paid up for these were ten dollars but i guess i paid more like eight ten dollars at my goodwills for shoes is pretty pretty common so to find the other ones for a good price makes up for that pair i feel like and then another shoe brand I just was researching and looking into for my shoe brand list is this brand, which is Victos, Victos, one of the two, but these are more of like a little sneaker, a little bit of a hiking shoe as well. $6.99 for these, also a men's size 12. They're the range trainer shoe. And since they were $6.99, I think I can resell these for $50 to $65 as well. Another good shoe pickup love it oh and then i did pick these up with all of the outfits i found at the goodwill these my husband jeremy found they are a cute little slip-on shoe from madewell they were $5.99 and they are really cute i've sold many pairs of madewell shoes similar to that for around 40 50 dollars which is awesome and then i picked up this really beautiful little green kind of cut glass bowl for myself for two dollars and 99 cents I just thought it was adorable. I don't know where I'm gonna use it, but it's pretty. And the last thing from my second little haul involved in my first big haul is this bag, which I knew was an interesting style. <laughs> this kind of sling bag, I knew, generally speaking, can do really well. This was marked at $4.99, and the inside of it is in great shape, great condition. But I looked on the inside here, found the tag, and it's the brand Amera bag, which, looks like it might be you know like one of those airline bags or something but oh, actually when i did the comps these were reselling for close to 50 bucks which i thought was awesome for 4.99 for this to sell between anywhere between 35 and 50 dollars i feel like is a win and there's just like so many good pockets on it like it's a really well-made bag high quality for sure honestly if like you were going on a little trip i feel like this would be an excellent bag to take with you like it's really nice honestly should i keep it probably not i should just sell it but really nice bag so that was quite the haul i feel like i've shocked even myself with how good of a haul that was like is that not amazing the things that you can find thrifting i am thinking about doing a video making a list of things that you should never buy firsthand that you can thrift instead honestly i might need to do that because if this doesn't confirm to you that you can find amazing things at a decent price when you go thrifting, I don't know what will. I really don't. I know you guys probably are all great thrifters. If you're watching this video, you probably enjoy thrifting. But this honestly made me feel like I need to go thrifting again. Doesn't it make you feel that way too? But yeah, let me know in the comment section which piece was your favorite. I am super excited about those M.M. Lafleur pieces. That's why I showed you them first. I think those are going to be excellent. But yeah, all of these pieces are amazing. I'm happy with it for sure. If you guys are watching this, when it comes out live tonight, I am doing a whatnot show. And I actually do whatnot shows almost every Sunday night. So if you guys wanna come over and hang out with me and just spend some time, um, you don't even have to buy anything. If you just wanna come and hang out, that'd be great. If you wanna come and get some great deals and things you can resell for yourself, that's also wonderful but make sure i'll leave the i always have a link down in my description to my whatnot but if you want to come over and join us tonight at 7 p.m if you're watching this video when it goes live we're gonna have a whatnot show going on so come on out if you would like to but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are having an amazing day i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and until the next video bye